Welcome back to another suit up video, but this time it's Foxy. I'm not going to waste that much time explaining a lot of Foxy's details at the start of the video, but if you do, if you are interested in those, then uh, make sure you watch till the end. So, without further ado, this is how I put on Foxy. And I'm back. This time in a space looking get up, it's kind of giving um, a zoom call where you're only half of you could be seen. This is smart, this is space. Um, but the other, compared to Dan Chica, this is a massive improvement, less embarrassing, so we like that. Anyway, starting with this harness. This harness has two hooks, this is for the head. Again, the head is rather oversized in the movie version, so I um, need to make sure that stays balanced. Then we have these trousers, um, a little bit about these trousers, you can actually detach them here, um, the reason I did that is for transport but also because I did make these trousers that go on top of the trousers, um, these trousers are from the movie um, but I think they're a lot more simple which makes more sense for an actual animatronic, I would prefer to use these because there's less restriction and less friction, um, but I decided to go with the iconic game version for the, like, the reveal and pretty much all of it. I think these just show better craftsmanship and they look cooler, so yep. Now I'm going to grab Simon's help, who helped me with uh, Glamour Chica before. He's going to help me again with Foxy, starting with his feet. Foxy. He is a lot easier to wear than Chica, as I've mentioned many times, predominantly because his main materials used in this costume are spongy foams um, and just fabrics, soft fabric. So the only parts that are really 3D printed is the main skull of his head, his eyes, his teeth, um, and uh, his hook in his hand. The reason I chose to do those parts out of 3D are simply just because it is easier to work with mechanics. You could, in theory, use wood, cardboard, foam to house all these mechanics, but if you know how to 3D model and you have experience with that, then it is so much easier just to do that so you can have everything fit immediately. 
If you're interested in that sort of thing, I would recommend Fusion 360 because that is a perfect place to know the measurements, um, uh, not know the measurements, to put in measurements and have them print out exactly as you expect them. I've tried doing this many times with Blender and it's never as nice, so I normally use a combination of Fusion 360 and then Blender for the more sculpty assets to it. Because I based this Foxy on the movie version, I really took so much love and inspiration for how they decided to do their animatronics, which, like most films, you have the stuntman or actor wearing the costume, and then you have multiple, because it is normally multiple, uh, puppeteers operating that costume. Obviously I can't have multiple uh, puppeteers, well I could, but that's not going to be as practical. So I decided to create a foolproof um, controller that if you just picked it up as anyone you completely understand what it is. I've labelled all of these um, and they just do exactly as the button says. So I mean you want a red eye, you get that, you know, yellow, um, the blitz button is pretty nice. And then the different expressions, you've got his standard expression, his sad, his happy, and his angry, which is one of my favourites. And then you have this joystick to move stuff around. And yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. And he's got his puzzled face. Um, I would love to see Foxy have interactions with people and I believe a lot of them are going to make him confused. So I'll put that one in as well. But yeah, we've got lots of these. And obviously, like all fursuits or other costumes, the jaw is just operated with my jaw, it's just a strap and some elastics. Also, you can lift his eye patch. I was going to put a servo in for this. <laughs> Whoops, it looks a little, uh, well, my <laughs> right. So I was toying with the idea of putting a servo in this just so it lifted up on its own, but Having already seven in there, I really wanted to keep it quite compact, but it is something I could very much easily add and then just have a button for that too. Actually, another point is this eye, um, you, you can't control it with any servos right now, um, but again, if I wanted to, it'd just be easy as just copy and pasting over here. But I didn't want to do that because I was trying to keep costs down and really Foxy was more just sort of like a passion project I was experimenting with since I have never done any um, expression coding or anything like that before. So, I mean, once you've coded one eye, you could code like a billion, it's the same, um, unless you needed them all to do different things. But yeah, so, I mean, this is Foxy. I'm really proud of him. He's very, he's very comfortable. His head is annoyingly to scale, um, which maybe I should have just been a bit more like the game version and scaled down a tiny bit but I really wanted it to be as true to the film version as possible apart from this part of his fabric. I don't know why in the film they actually extend this like beige colour all over his shoulders. I'm not really sure what the design reason was for that but I decided to just keep that bit uh, iconic and just keep this part red because otherwise he has like red hair coming out of a this colour, which I found very strange and I didn't like it so I ended up doing this. Also I blame my followers for voting for that too, so yeah. So this is my Foxy! And there's one other thing I'd like to show you guys. I'm not sure if the camera's gonna pick this up, but this is just what I was talking about earlier, um, on how simple the um, remote control I've made. I made this from scratch. It's very clunky and fat, but that is just because the idea was it's a prototype, and I always say that because then until the next costume I never bother making it again. <laughs> but it works, so it's fine. Anyway, yeah, so these are obviously very labelled. This is the only one here, but they haven't yet coded, and it's going to be his ears wiggle. Like, you press it to wiggle. Um, but yeah, I haven't got around to that yet, so. Anyway, what I wanted to show you is he also has a speaker, so... Can do this i haven't actually programmed that in so yeah he's just this isn't edited in my video that's his speaker so we have different whoopsie sorry you guys gonna get very sick motion sick with this um but we have different um voice lines for foxy at the moment i came for you booty like the treasure you know 
Uh, I have his scream, but just for the sake of your ears, I'm not going to press that, but just know that it is actually here. So if you see him at a con, you may hear him scream. Um, yeah. I never underestimate the cunning of a pirate, or a fox for that matter. I see you never stood a chance. But yeah, I really like this one. So the last thing I thought I would demonstrate, because I see a lot of comments about it, is Foxy's hand. I will be doing a full tutorial on this um, in the future. Also I see a lot of comments about you guys wanting a tutorial on how I animate the eyes. That is in the pipeline right now. I just love to do it as a series since I think a lot of tutorials can show you exactly how to do one thing, but really I would love to have my tutorials like actually teach you so you guys can do that and more. Um, and because there is so much involved, I'd, I'm just trying to think of a way to make it a lot more fun to learn, which, you know, is something I can be proud of too. So that is going to happen. Just please be a bit more patient um, trying to get in the habit of filming for YouTube before I sort of rush to all the really complicated tutorials and then you guys are like, oh no, this isn't a good idea because um, I'm confident I can teach you guys how to do it. I just want to make sure it is a good video all in all first. So anyway, this is the hand. Um, over the years I have been experimenting with articulated hands such as this. Um, I did it for Chica. It was a lot more limiting in my design, but now with Foxy we get a lot um, a lot more movement and comfort and strength. Uh, you may see a lot of hands online, um, some of my previous ones as well. Uh, you never really know how strong they are until you own them and I'm pretty proud of how strong these are. Um, you know, they're really strong within reason. You definitely couldn't like hit anything with it. Uh, again, I would love to do a tutorial on this. I really want to do more power gloves sort of stuff. I'd love to do Vi um, again because I didn't really get a chance to do that in the time frame I set myself. But anyway, um, hope you guys have enjoyed this and my little ramble at the end. Thank you if you got this far. Uh, I'm really enjoying doing sort of a mixture between tutorials and suit up videos and self-explanatory self -explanatory stuff and exp yeah, explanatory stuff, couldn't think then. Um, but ultimately just getting in the habit of producing more YouTube videos and becoming more confident as that, as if you followed me for a few years now, you know that um, deep down I'm really shy. So this is a little more challenging for me than maybe other people, but I'm looking at the possibility of potentially getting a workshop so that I have more room to film in since the space that I live in is just a standard UK house. So. If you know anything about that they're relatively small and I collect a lot of stuff so I don't really have that much room but anyway um, that's so that could be cool that could be exciting just whether or not you know financially it's it's worth it but either way I'm gonna be producing more videos more tutorials so yeah if you guys want to let me know any other things you'd like to see um, again I am gonna be doing a animatronics video a like servo tutorials um, articulated hand builds which I really want to do but if there's anything other than those that you would love to see it doesn't have to be FNAF uh, then please let me know in the comments but if you're a huge FNAF fan please let me know who your what who or what I don't really know which one it is but your favorite um, animatronic is in the comments uh, I'd love to see and who knows maybe that will be my next FNAF build anyway thank you all again for watching and I will see you next month Du, 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 du.